welcome back to the part 2 video in the series so in this video i going to go through the setup of how to install all the things that required for testing model context protocol server for dbt uh, this is the model context protocol servers list so there are a bunch of uh, model context protocols already available today if you see like there are many 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 model context protocols coming every day uh so the few of them are already listed in their uh, website today we are going to use visual studio code visual studio code has a another build to it which is called visual code studio code insiders the difference between visual studio code and visual studio code insiders is visual studio code is like a uh, official releases like which are stable releases that will directly come into visual studio code but visual studio code insiders contains a uh, everyday daily builds let's say if there is a feature that is pushed into visual studio today it can be first come into visual studio insiders and basically it will it will helps all the community to test it that particular feature and then once they are confident enough then they release it to the visual studio code currently all the agent stuff model code test protocol everything is in the preview version which is like a pre release version we can say so that is already available in visual studio code insiders so you need to get the code insiders that is one tool and next is you need to have docker currently all mcp servers are like either they are docker based docker based or python based or like a uh, node based so it's better to have all the and this is the dbt mcp server i'm talking uh, basically it has run build debug compile and it has very good options show so i am thinking like if dbt show is working fine then it can also basically do dbt show and get the output of the sql and send that sql back to llm and also verify it so the uh, dbt show is something i am very interested in let's see if that is working or not let me uh, install vs code okay now we have installed uh, visual studio code insiders after you open like it will ask you to sign in into github to activate copilot for you if you don't ask you can just sign in from here once you are able to sign into copilot then you can just uh, uh, basically this is the uh, this is the copilot uh, uh, chart window so now earlier like we have this uh, ask copilot uh, tab along with it now you can see edit and agents now let's try to ask something let's type hi seeing uh, the reply from the copilot let's set up uh, an mcp server now i also had a docker installed in my system let's go ahead and uh, install mcp for github yeah so here we have mcp server for github first you need to have a personal access token created your llm client which is your visual studio code uh, connects to your mcp so uh, github mcp server and that server talks with your github so to talk to mcp server to talk with the uh, github it needs uh, a personal access token let's create a personal access token okay okay so uh, there are um, once you get once the token gets created like uh, you can run this server either in your docker or uh, in your node so i decided to run this uh, particular uh, uh, server in uh, docker so let's copy the uh, thing so basically like uh, if you go to your vs code and you go to your settings and then search for mcp uh, so you will find uh, edit uh, settings in json okay 
so once uh, you did this uh, basically you can see the, uh, the there is a sample server which is mcp server tag you can click on start but uh, i don't think this would work because uh, the python command and also uh, let's uh, uh, paste the github mcp server here so this is github mcp copy this and then paste here let me align this okay now i have github mcc as a server i need to place my token here let me do that so once i pasted my uh, token uh, which i created a, in earlier uh, you save this file okay now i have uh, my server uh, if you see here uh, this is uh, for github so i can start the server now so if you see, I can see the server running. If I do Docker, yeah, so now, and also it's in the running state. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, uh, do some uh, questions. Now, one, I am closing the JSON file. Now, if I open the copilot again, uh, this window if i go to agents uh, instead of ask if i go to agents now you can see uh, i have mcp github server coming in and all of these are functions that are present in mcp github server so the next step is to set up some sample dbt project and install dbt mcp server okay so we had a sample project here which is like uh, called GB dbt uh, jaffle shop uh, I didn't remember what exactly this project is about. Like, uh, it contains, uh, let's see what it contains. Okay, so it contains customers and, oh, we can do this. Uh, let's ask, let's copy this. And let's open the chart window. Can you uh give me the context on github repository paste yeah mm -hmm. let's do uh basically it's, it's asking me to uh run this get file contents let's run it okay oh it's it can read the project now and it's ask it's giving all the information so dbt jaffle shop is a demonstration okay it provides a simple okay structured okay what are the files uh directories contains dbt models which uh it given me like high level overview on the project but i don't see anything uh, related to uh any use case okay give me the business use case that the project is on is built on okay it's still working okay okay nice so it's telling about uh, uh, the project stimulates an online store that sells project to customers it includes data related to orders customers and payments okay so uh, raw data from various sources uh, customer orders payment systems is ingested into database dbt is used to transform this raw data into structured data sets that are ready for analysis okay and then analytics uh, inside analytics and reports the data the transform data used to generate customer lifetime value okay uh, 
ltv we are getting there is like uh, ltv and order trends and patterns payment uh, success rates okay and okay there is something related to data quality and governance okay so now i get the gist uh, about the project okay let's try to set up this in my lo in my local uh, let me clone it Okay, let me set up uh, uh, all the DBT related stuff. I need to create a virtual environment and then I need to create a proper profile.ml. And I want to run run the backend. I want to backend database to be Postgres, uh, which I can install in my Docker and connect to DBT. Let's do all the DBT related stuff. Uh, you can also uh, go into the documentation and uh, uh, you can just uh, set up that uh, by your own. Okay, I have successfully uh, built the DBT project and uh, set up uh, everything that is required for this project. Uh, so basically all my data is uh, uh, going into this uh, Jaffel shop uh, database. Uh, and uh, if you see in the DBT project uh, models, we have the staging models. Basically, these models are just uh, reading from the uh, raw tables. Let's the raw tables we have is customer locations, order items, orders, and products and supplies. Uh, so from these raw tables, we have marts. Uh, if we if we take a look into orders, let's say uh, this model is basically joining up orders and order items, and create uh, uh, an order summary like uh, where where we can get like uh, total cost, total orders uh, rela uh, related that. Okay, so uh, now the DBT uh, project is set up. Uh, I have a, if you see here, this is my virtual environment. And I can maybe do DBT show orders. Okay, so this is a DBT show. Uh, okay, you can see the data is coming in. Okay, let's let's uh, go and uh, set up DBT MT MCP server now. Okay, so this is the DBT MCP server, and if you see, we can run all of these uh, uh, these tools. So let's go ahead and set up this server. Okay, we need to yeah, we need to clone the project and then we need to create a virtual environment for the project. Yeah, let's do that. So we need to create a virtual environment using UV. So UV is a Python uh, uh, Python environment uh, management package. So you can just like you can see installation guide. So basically, you can use this uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, command to install the UV. I have UV already installed in my laptop. So let's uh, proceed. Okay, let's create a virtual environment to be UV. Okay, let's activate the environment. Okay, now let's install the dependencies. Done. Okay, so this is for the development, and I don't think uh, we are doing development here, so let's see that. 
Okay, let's let's now uh, go ahead and create an MCP server in VS Code. So we have settings from MCP and JSON. Okay, let's paste our server here. Let's align the things properly. And now path to DBT. Uh, okay, let's give the path for the for our MCP file. So the project. So here is our project. So let's do PWD. This is my path. Let's let's paste the path here. Okay, absolute uh, path to DBT. Uh, basically, this should be the uh, your DBT path. Uh, let's say in my case, uh, I installed DBT in the virtual environment I have here. So to get the path, uh, you can do like you can like um you can do which DBT. Yeah, this would give you an absolute path. So if you see here, I'm already in the virtual environment and I'm doing which DBT, which gives me the path of a, a absolute path for the DBT. Okay, let's give the DVD path now. Okay, I think uh, we all done. We have provided, we have given everything uh, that is required. Let's save this. Once I save this, I can see the start option. I'm starting the server now. Okay, let's see the error. Okay, so if you are seeing the error, that means uh, uh, the particular UV is not registered yet. So uh, since I since I installed UV, so you just need to close that. Visual Studio Code, and let's reopen. Okay, let's see now we can able to start the server yeah if you see here my server is running now uh, so let's see the mcp server is detected for dbt yes dbt mcp server and all its functions are detected and now mcp server is also running let's uh, try to query uh, a sample let's see uh, let can compile current dbt project let's see what what it will do oh awesome so it, it detected dbt compile command from the mcp server let's continue okay we are seeing the command ran successfully okay so i already built this project so there should be ideally data present in uh, uh, models let's try to uh can you can you see uh, the data can you see the data from orders model and uh give me a sample row yeah okay this is good i asked it uh, if it can uh get the data from order stable but i didn't provide any other context whether it is dbt project or anything else so let's uh but it's automatically detected the command let's go on to come continue okay so uh awesome so it can able to retrieve the data from the database using dbt show command and also able to uh show me the columns as well as uh, the sample data in the columns okay uh that's it for this video so let's uh see what we can uh do like let's try to do something more complex in the next videos uh so this is uh this video is all about installation so uh we are successfully able to install github and uh dbt and uh, sample dbt project so yeah so see you in the next video